you guys. Today is Sunday, June 25th, and we got a special surprise today. This reminded me of the, uh, I doubled up on a daily, uh, today is Sunday, June 25th, and I doubled up on a mass today. I went to the 7.30 a.m. with Father Rock. He did the homily there, and then the 9.30 a.m. with Father uh, Seth Arnold did the mass there. And, and you guys, this just reminded me today of just how beautiful it is. Look at this. From death into life. Like, look at this. This is a dying flower right here. Look at this. You see half of it, but with death comes life, you guys. Comes new life like this. Vibrant. Look at this flower. One side is dead, but yet the other one is alive. Like Christ, he, he came from death. You know, he overcame death, darkness, and despair to give us heaven, the life, path to salvation, the glory. Through slaying this death, the Satan, the Lucifer, slaying the enemy, Christ gives us life. Just like this flower here, this rose. And so today we're reading uh, chapter 12, separation from, or and I mean chapter 13, separation from aliens. We read chapter 12 yesterday, book of Nehemiah. And this is the last chapter of the book of Nehemiah, chapter 13. It's going to be powerful. You can just feel it. And Father Yurok, you guys, today, I needed that today. The 7.30 a.m. Mass, he announced that his grandparents were there, his, I mean his mom and dad were there in the Mass. Like, at my age, you know, I'm a young guy. They look like grandparents, you know, grandma and grandpa. For me, because I'm a younger than Father Yurok, like by 20 years or so, maybe more, 30 years in. But Father Seth Arnold, he's like my age, you guys. He's like one year older. To, he, we had the same, like in similar birthdays, like in January. Very young, very similar age. And um, I'll never forget it. Like Father Yurok today. I needed this wake-up call, you guys. I needed it today. I was feeling hot from yesterday, from the St. John Day, St. John the Baptist Day, the yesterday's uh, solemnity birthday of St. John the Baptist. And uh, the... Um, so... I... Uh, you know, I was feeling it today. I, I, yesterday, I, I did the pot... Uh, I did the episode. We did the episode... Christian Bible series, you know, you guys know how it is, and so I, uh, man, by the time we uploaded that video, it was like 12 p.m., midnight, 1 p.m. by the time I went to sleep, so I had like 4 or 5, then I woke up at 6, I was feeling it, you guys, hot, like 6.37, which, I mean, I was tossing and turning at night anyways, like 2, 3 p.m., I kept waking, you know, I, I couldn't even sleep anyways, I was just so excited to go to Mass in the church, and to Jesus on the Sunday, so I did, it's like, I gotta go see Father. Especially on St. John Day, you guys, the St. John the Baptist Day. I had to go see him. It's his birth, St. John the Baptist's birth, his saint's birthday. Father rocks, you guys. And all of our guys' um, you know, inspiration role model to be uh, St. John the Baptist Day. And, and he was, uh, you know, talking about St. John the Baptist. And, um, and so was Father Seth Arnold today. And, um, Saying that, uh, no, Father Yock is powerful. I, I love him. You guys, he's like, you know, the, the Catholic masses, we don't really talk about uh, damnation and hellfire and hell, you guys. But damnation and hell, well, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I don't know, you know, the, the priests and the stuff there. Well, I don't know why people are stopped talking about hell and damnation, you know, during the mass, during the homily. But he's like, you know, the priest, it's, it's just in the Catholics, you know, we've been avoiding it, you know, as priests. But I'm going to talk about hell, damnation, and fire anyways, because it's the, you know, path to salvation. With damnation, hell, and hellfire, it, and suffering like that, it brings us closer to going to the path of heaven. Like, we get inspired more to go to heaven when we see hell, when we see death, right? And decay, darkness, despair. We turn to Christ and the light and, and the heaven, you guys, going to heaven. And so, through hell and damnation, it's, we have to get the downs in life in order to get up. You know, overcome the death with life. Overcome, like Jesus overcame the death with life. We have to overcome in our way our dead, you know, sin killing us in, inside our life. Death of the sin that causes more blood and going to hell, damnation, hellfire, in order to bring us to life, to the life, you guys. To the heaven. Heaven is the life, the ultimate life. 
in the path, the best beautiful path to cleanse us of our deaths, these sins, deadly sins, mortal sins, you know, that cause us to have eternal damnation and death. And so um, he's like that, yeah. Damnation and hellfire, it is it is a driving force to help us, encourage us to go to the church more and to see God and see Jesus in his house and to, um, you know, seek the path of heaven and, and holiness, you guys, by turning away from our evil ways and, you know, doing the sinful ways. And so I went to, you know, I, I needed to go to confession that day too, um, so sleepy in it, but that's no excuse, you know. One midnight, you know, I, I just made it to mass barely on time, you know. I was a little bit late to mass, but um, I was so sleepy. But anyways, that's all. I, that's no excuse. I could have did this recordings earlier. Anyways, um, so you know, after I did that, penance with Father Christian was there in the confessional. I loved how he gave me one. He does. He's like you know. I love, he's like, what, what do you want me to give you? you know, I mean, he's like, what do you recommend me doing for you as a penance? I'm like, whatever you will, uh, Father, my Heavenly Father. All right, because he's the, in the priest, they take up the form of God, of Christ, you guys. In the confessional, they, they're they Christly, forgiving us of our sins. Or, or priest, they're Christ that they pray directly to God, and they too forgive us of our sins, God. And uh, in, in Christ, in, in Jesus, he does forgive us our sin in the confessional when we, his holy messengers, his holy priests and, and, and deacons of light and hope. And so he gave me a, um, it's like, okay, like, you know, I give you a rosary. I want me to do a rosary and uh, decades of the rosary. And I did the decades or, or decade of, I, I, I thought he said rosary, do a whole rosary. So I did, I did a whole rosary, a traditional one. I didn't stop there. I did another rosary on top of it. And then I did a divine mercy rosary. I did several rosaries because, you know, there's, I was feeling it, guys, feeling hot. Because I was doing, you know, there's time in between the masses. So I was feeling it, you guys. And uh, also I needed them too because I was, you know, but I'm not going to commit those evils anymore in the past that I've done, you know. I'm only going to grow stronger and stronger in faith, you guys. Just like all of you guys out there, we're going to be growing strong in faith. And I will, and then, you know, he brought me the life and having this, you know, Father, he didn't, Seth Arnold, he didn't talk about hell or damnation, my father. <laughs> he cleansed my soul. He was a bit more funny, hap, you know, happy, loving about, you know, but he was talking serious too. He's like, we need these old Christian, you know, these uh, prophets of the past, like Elijah. They call it like Elijah is known as, you know, he's very close to God, you guys. And Elijah, you know, he's talking about the the pagan gods and these sorcerers and Baal on the mountain. These pagan gods and these pagan priests and sorcerers, they offer the sacrifice on the mountain. And Elijah and his God and Christ, you guys, as you know, God, the father, his God, he was like, OK, we'll put our gods to the challenge. You do your Baal God, your priest, you know, you pagan priests, you sorcerers. And you sacrifice this bull on the mountain, on the altar. We both bring our altars. We both bring our, you know, gods. Whosoever God triumphs will win. And so they went first, the God of balls and the priest. And they, they're, they're praying and ball bring the fire down the mountain. No one brought the fire down the mountain. Now, Elijah, they're the ball. And for two, three, you know, many, many hours, they were going. And then Elijah was taunting these priests and they said, ah, oh, see your God, you know, he didn't bring fire on the mountain. He, he can't perform these miracles like, you know, my God, God the Father will. And so he had the faith of God the Father and God the Father did bring the fire on the mountain, you guys. And on the altar when they sacrificed the bull, they both did it. And then Elijah went after and boom. That's how you know God the Father is real, you guys. From these Old Testament readings, you know. And uh, um, Elijah... You know, Father Seth on his path, and he's like, we need these strong, we need to be like these strong prophets of the past, like Elijah, Moses, you know, all these, all these strong men and, and, and strong in the Bible and strong women out there too. There's, there's lots of strong, we need to be like these saints, you guys in life. And, uh, saying like with Baal, um, you know, that Baal, the, that's a fake God, you guys, Baal, the Baal, the the Baal, B-A-A-L. 
these this that fake god of Baal they tried to offer the pagan priest and they failed you guys they failed ultimately because they're the fake priests they're the fake uh, sorcerers these pagan priests they're not priests you guys the real deal priests are the priests with Christ Jesus Christ and so and God the Father worshiping them all the days of their life of of their life and so you know uh, and then yeah Elijah you know these pagan priests and they they he was even taunting them put water on the altar keep putting what drench it with water so that the fire may not you know and then he still sent fires down from the heavens on the altar, you know, from the sky. And it's just God, he prayed to God. He did the sacrifice of the bull. And then boom, God showed up, you guys. Because he's a man of his, and Elijah is a man of, you know, close to God. And God, you know, showed this evil, these wicked pagans, these priests, that they were wrong. And their God is, is a man, and they have no God. That's not a God. The worshiping to that pagan, to that ball, that god of ball, which is is a lesser to know God. You guys, that's God of the devil. We can't worship gods of the devils or demons. You guys, we have to only worship God the Father, Jesus Christ. Only, only God the Father above all things, and Jesus Christ His Son. You guys, only Jesus Christ. There is no one that can get through Jesus Christ, but in Jesus Christ, no one can get through. Uh, you have to go through Jesus Christ, you guys, to get to God the Father. No one can enter into the gate, but through Jesus Christ alone, you guys. No one can see God the Father, but through Jesus Christ. And so the Son and the Father reunite as one, Jesus Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit within. That's why the Catholic, we believe, is the three, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all three in one. Um, three separate entities they can be one, they can be three, they can be, you know, Father, Son, you know, they can have a relationship Christ Jesus with the Holy Spirit within can perform miracles. God the Father, Holy Spirit, and then God by itself can perform the Holy Spirit within people can perform miracles. Christ is good and it's all intertwined, you guys. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the three and one. And anyways, but um, yeah, the um, oh, I just I just love it today. It, you know, I'm, I love these flowers here. I don't know which ones these are called, but this is all, as you guys can tell, real dirt, real flowers from death. These are the dying flowers that are so brittle, they're about to die, but with death comes life, with all, you know, eventually we become old, you guys, and we we become grandparents, like Father Rock's dad and mom, they're like my like grandparents, like I could call them grandparents, grandmother, grandfather, if I because they're like my, and, but these grandparents, these elderly, we have to visit them because they have still, like what Father Rock was saying in the homily today, they have stories, you know, they, to, you know, they made mistakes and we need to go to our, our, our elders in life, our older um, grandparents and wiser, like mother and fathers to learn from their example, learn from their mistakes. They have wisdom, truth in life and, and to learn from them so that, you know, so we can improve our church life so that way we can go to church stronger and better. And to go to them and seek them as kindness and gals, our elders, our grandparents in life, so that way we may have life. You know, because the the grandparents and our parent they're going to perish, you guys, before you know, we as the young the son, you know, the children, like my mom and dad and grandparents, they're going to perish before me, you guys. They're like this they're dying, they're, you know, slowly withering away in life. And I'm like, you know, vibrant fruit, you know, young still but eventually I will get we'll get to close to our death you guys and even at the moment of death we have to be vibrant and proof like this we can't be but in the end we will suffer death you guys and with death comes life, and the new life of heaven and then they become like this if they don't have sins and they go into like Father Rock's dead mom you know if they're pure and all and they did the last rite though with the pre, the holy you know the last rite they can go to heaven too, you guys. Or or did a confessional, confess for the sins, obeyed all God's commandments, didn't do a mortal venial sin, you know. They can go straight to heaven and they don't even have to go to purgatory. Or, you know, God might deem them to go to hell. But it's God the Father who ultimately makes that decision. And Jesus Christ, he will, you know, let his will be done. Whether he sends them to heaven, hell, or purgatory. That's God's decision. And you guys, not mine, not... 
another priest, no, no one else in life can, can, can dictate who goes to heaven. It's only God, you guys. Who goes to heaven, hell, or purgatory. It's only God to do this. And so, now we can foresee in the future who goes to heaven. Well, you know, I can, like in my personal opinion, I, I just, I see it, and I, I know it to be like Father Rock and Father Seth Arnold. I see them as going to heaven. Like, I see that me, them, and them will reunite together in heaven one of these days. I just, I just know, I just feel, I just see it. We'll all be there in heaven. Me, Father Rock, and Father Seth Arnold, for sure. These, these holy men, you guys, we, if not, we'll be, you know, in purgatory cleansing and the cleansing process towards our path to heaven. But, you know, I, I see, I see it, you guys. I just see the light. I don't know how or why God keeps telling me to say these things or just in my, the Holy Spirit within, I'm just spreading them. But that's, that's just how I see it and just how God sees in my brain, in my eyes, and in my soul, how he wants me to say, I just, I, I can't explain it, you guys. I just see the path, and I see, I see, I just, I just, I have to say it, you guys, I had, I have to say it. And so, I, and that's why I, I said it. And so, with death comes, like, that's, that's the true beauty about these um, flowers here, and, and everything. And so... All right, chapter 13, separation from aliens. We'll begin with the prayer in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, God the Father, for giving us heaven, the path to heaven, through your death and resurrection, God. We are trying to be saved on this path towards heaven, God. Don't want to go to hell, the hellfire and damnation in life. Don't want to do the sins, God. We don't want to keep disobeying you and your commandments, God. We want to obey your commandments and love so that way we may enter into the kingdom of heaven with you, God, one day. If you so will it and grant it, God, Jesus Christ, for us to see heaven one day. In your name we pray, amen. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. All right, chapter 13, separation from aliens. At that time, when there was reading from the book of Moses in the hearing of the people, it was found written there that no Ammonite or Moabite may ever be admitted into the assembly of God. For they would not succor the Israelites with food and water, but they hired Balaam, Balaam to curse them through our God turned the curse into a blessing. When they had heard the law, they separated from the Israel, they separated from Israel every foreign element, reform in the temple. Before sins, the priest Eliashib, who had been placed in charge of the chambers of the house of our God, and who was an associate of Tobiah, had set aside for the lat latter's use a large chamber in which had previously been stored the cereal offerings, incense, incense, and utensils, the tithes and grain, wine and oil allotted to the Levites, singers and gatekeepers, and offerings due the priests, and the offerings due the priests. During all this time, I had not been in Jerusalem, for in the thirty-second year of our tax exodus, the king of Babylon, king of Babylon, I had gone back to the king. After due time, however, I asked leave of the king and returned to Jerusalem, where I discovered the evil thing that Eliashib had done for Tobiah. In setting aside for him a chamber in courts of the house of God, this displeased me very much, and I had all of Tobiah's household goods thrown outside the chamber. Then I gave orders to purify the chambers, and I had to, and I had and I had them replace their, and I had them replace their utensils of the house of God, the cereal offerings, and the incense. I learned too that the portions due the Levites were no longer being given, so so that the Levites and the singers who should have been carrying out the services had deserted each man on his own field. 
I took the magistrates to task, demanding, why is the house of God abandoned? Then I brought the Levites together and had them resume their stations. All Judah once more brought in the tithes of grain, wine, and oil to the storerooms, and in charge of the and in charge of the storerooms, I appointed the priest Shel Shelemiah, Zadok the scribe, and Pedeah, one of the Levites, together with Hanan, son of Zechar, son of Mataniah, as their assistant. For these men were held to be trustworthy. It was their duty to make the distribution to their brethren. Remember this to my credit, O my God. Let not the devotion which I showed for the house of my God and its, ser and its services be forgotten. Sabbath observance. And this is because Sabbath observance. Today is Sunday, you guys. The Sabbath, the Sabbath day. So this is perfect, you guys. And so Sabbath observance. In those days, I perceived that men in Judah were treading the wine presses on the Sabbath, that they were bringing in sheaves of grain, loading them on their asses, together with wine, grapes, figs, and every other kind of burden, and bringing them to Jerusalem. On the Sabbath day, I warned them to sell none of these victuals. In Jerusalem itself, the, itself, the Tyrians who were resident there, were importing fish and every other kind of merchandise and selling it to Judah, and selling it to the Judahites on the Sabbath. I took the nobles of Judah to task, demanding of them, what is this evil that you are doing? Profaning the Sabbath day. Did not, uh, profaning the Sabbath day. Did not your fathers act in the same way with the result that our God has brought all this evil upon us and upon the city. Would you add to the wrath against Israel by once more profaning the Sabbath? When the shadows were falling on the gates of Jerusalem before the Sabbath, I ordered the doors to be closed and forbade them to be reopened till after the Sabbath. I, po I posted some of my own men at the gates so that no burden might enter on the Sabbath day. The merchants and sellers of various kinds of merchandise spent the night once or twice outside Jerusalem. But then I warned them, saying to them, Why do you spend the night alongside the wall? If you keep this up, I will lay hands upon you. I will lay hands on you. From that time on, they did not return on the Sabbath. Then I ordered the Levites to purify themselves and go and watch the gates so that the Sabbath day might be kept holy. This too, remember in my favor, my God, and have mercy on me in accordance with your great mercy. Mixed marriages. Also in those days, I saw Jews who had married Ashadite, Jews who had married Ashadite, Ammonite, and Moabite wives. Of their children, half spoken Ashadite, and none of them who knew how to speak Jewish. And so it was in regard to the languages of the various other peoples, I took them to task, and none of them knew how to speak Jewish. And so it was in regard to the other languages of various other peoples, I took them to task and cursed them. I had some of them beaten and their hair pulled out, and I adjured them by God. You shall not marry of their daughters for your sons or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, the king of Israel, sin because of them? Though among the many nations there was no king like him, and though he was beloved of his God, and God had made him king over all Israel, yet even he was made to sin by foreign women." Must it also be heard of you that you have done this that you have done the same very great evil, betraying our God by marrying foreign women? One of the sons of jo Joiada, son of Eliashib, the high priest, was the son-in-law of Sendalat, the Horonite, 
I drove him from my presence. Remember against them, O my God, how they defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and the Levites. Thus I cleansed them of all foreign contamination. I established the various functions for the priests and Levites, so that each had his appointed task. I also provided for the procurement of wood at stated times and for the first fruits. Remember this in my favor, O oh my God. And with that, we'll close in the prayer. The book of Tobit will begin tomorrow. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, God the Father, all that you do, all that you provide in life. We love you, God. Jesus Christ, thank you for dying on the sins for us sinners. In your name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.